Do you ever go out to your friend's place and you think, do I really want to go and do that? There's some pretty cool stuff happening in the sky right now. Well, tonight that's happening for me. Um, I'm at my friend's place. I don't know if you can see that. They're all inside waiting for me to finish this video because something cool is happening tonight and I want to really take advantage of it. What's happening is probably one of the best passes of the ISS that we've had probably this year. It's going to be in the air for a long time right here. And what I've done, I'm, I've brought I've brought all my phones, so we'll see what we can do with all of them. So we've got the Galaxy S21 Ultra, the Google Pixel, and over here we've got the iPhone sitting all on its lonesome. And what we're going to do is we're going to do all three phones trying to capture this ISS Passover. So with the Galaxy, what we're going to do is a regular sort of astrophotography shot, but um, can you see that in the sky? Uh, probably not. But the moon, it's well past half. It's a pretty pretty good sized moon, so we're going to get a lot of light. So there'll be a little bit of toing and froing with the Galaxy S21 because we'll have to adjust the ISO and stuff. But we want to keep it at 30 seconds to get as much of the ISS passing as we can. With the Pixel, we'll shoot just a regular astrophotography photo at 4 minutes and 6 seconds and we're probably going to get enough time with the ISS in the air to do that twice. And if we do, with the new release of the firmware on the G-Cam on the Pixel, we'll be able to do some pretty kick-ass sort of time-lapse when we put them, those together, and it will do it automatically. And with the iPhone, we'll do a couple of things. We'll do one, we'll do just a 30-second night mode photo and see what happens, because I just don't know. And two, we'll use the Nightcap app, use the ISS mode, and we'll shoot for as long as we feel comfortable without getting too many star trails. So I'm thinking probably about a minute, and then I'll shut it down and do it again, and then I'll just merge them all later on in like Photoshop. And with the, the Galaxy, uh, I'll probably do the same. I'll do 30 second photos and, and take a number of them and stitch them together on the desktop later. So I'll show you how to find it. Now to find the ISS and where it's going to pass, the best app I've found so far is on iOS and it is the Night Sky app. This is a pretty good app. It's a free version and you've got a uh, uh, paid version as well. I use the paid one because it just gives you a little bit more flexibility, but you can do what we're doing here tonight with the free version as well. So get it, I'll put a link down the bottom. Once you're into here, I'll swipe up, go into the search, type in International Space Station, and it's going to find it for us right there on the horizon, or just below the horizon, I'll zoom in there, and that's where it is. So how this thing works, it uses um, the, 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 guy, the gyro and the GPS in the camera, I'm gonna to touch on where the ISS is, and you can see it's going to come up right there, so that's how I'm going to compose these shots. It's gonna rise up right there, everything is pointed roughly where I want it to be, and we just wait now, you can see it's moving slow, slow, slowly up to the horizon. I've probably got about another 10 minutes or so, and then it'll kick off. So they're all set up, now we just wait. There we go. Oh, there it is there. Let's get up, let's get these things going. All right, the nightmare, the night, Nightcap app, ISS mode, and we'll fire that one now. Go over to these. The S21 Ultra Pro mode, we'll shoot him as well. And the Google Pixel 4a, we'll shoot Astro mode, and we'll see how we go. It is moving the fastest I've ever seen it move. It's really, really going quick. <laughs> Probably a bit off more than I could chew here. It's already going out of frame on that one. <laughs> I'll stop the nightcap app. I was going to turn it a bit. Then I'll take another one. <laughs> it's going pretty quick. I thought it was going to be up there for about 10 minutes, but it's not. That just doesn't make sense. Let's come back to you now. <laughs> so I've, I've, it's, 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 it's pretty well gone now. Um, that happened really fast. <laughs> <laughs> really fast. I think the best photo that we're going to get is going to be out of the iPhone out of the Nightcap app. Uh, I haven't seen anything yet on the Samsung because they're on the same tripod as the 
the Google Pixel and it's taking a four minute photo at the moment. It's gone now. The ISS is below the horizon again, but it's finishing off that four minutes and I want to leave it finish off that four minutes. So I don't want to touch the tripod with it on there. So I don't know what the Galaxy's got yet. You'll have to wait like I do. Anyway, once this is finished, I'll uh, get them onto the computer. We'll have a look and see what we've got. It could be an absolute failure, but we, I think we've got something at least um, on the iPhone. So hold on. Well, that was interesting. It wasn't nearly as successful as I was hoping it was going to be. Even I do things wrong and stuff things up. So don't stress when you're doing the same thing. What did we learn from this tonight is that you I well and truly bit off more than I could chew. It, it moved really, 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 really fast. And uh, I had too many things going on. I'll show you these photos. The first one I'll show you, or the first group I'll show you is from the S21 Ultra. There's no denying, I absolutely love the camera on this phone. It does fantastic work. And it failed last night because the nut behind the shutter button wasn't working very well. The first one here is with the settings that I said earlier, the ISO 800, 30 seconds, etc., etc. I did talk about the moon, and the moon was huge, and uh, this is what I got, and that's just crap. No point even showing you more about that. Second photo here is when I reduced the ISO to 200, still shot for 30 seconds, and there's, there's something weird happened with this. I definitely caught it um, because on other phones, um, it's the same image, and the ISS is in the same position, but if you have a look there, it's really, really faint which is unusual because the sun had only just set and the ISS would still be in sunlight. So it should be as bright as the other stars that are in the sky, if not brighter. And um, I'm fairly confident that is the ISS that we're looking at there because other, well, that's where it was moving through the sky. I could see it there. Um, but if I had to, if I didn't know any better, I'd say that's a plane. Um, and that's the best photo I got out of the S21 Ultra. And the reason for that is that I had the S21 Ultra sitting on the tri same tripod as the Pixel, as you might have seen, and I was too reluctant to change too many settings on that um, on the S21 because I didn't want to screw up the four-minute photo that was being taken. And it turns out it didn't do that all the time anyway. So with a Pixel, um, this is the Pixel 4a in night mode, and it goes automatically to astro mode, and you shoot the astro photography photos. If you don't know how to do that, I'll, I'll link up the top there, and you can see how to do that. It's not that hard. It's probably the easiest phone to take photos of the stars. However, when there's this big bloody moon like that, I didn't realize it at the time because it was moving fast. Um, I didn't actually let it go into astro photography mode. I, did, I hit it too quick. Uh, it, I put it to night mode, and this photo here is a night mode photo. So the moon there is really, really bright, so it didn't get dark enough to go into astrophotography mode. But you can see that little green dot there is that lens flare that you get off most modern phones. But that little line there is the ISS moving through the sky. So on night mode even, we got it, but that's teeny tiny. Um, let's look at the next one. This one here is definitely the ISS, and I would say that's an aeroplane um, going in horizontal. So this was the photo, um, it's a four minute photo, this is a proper astro photo, and you can tell that from the stars. That's a much better uh, indication of what I would have expected that night. Um, but it, this thing was moving quickly. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a little bit closer to the horizon and it went almost above my, like, up above my head. It was up there for a while, but uh, geez, it was moving. It was, it was really, really fast. Let's have a look at the, um, the iPhone photos. So like the S21 Ultra, I have a feeling that the computational photography came into play a little bit here, and it didn't quite get the length of the ISS that I would have expected to get. So this one here is the night mode photo. This is a 30 second night mode photo that I took. And right down the bottom here, you can see that little line. That little line is the ISS. Um, that other dot off to the horizon there, that's actually Mars. But that line, is the ISS, and it was open for 30 seconds. I would have expected that to be a little bit longer than that. So I think that the computational photography kind of squashed it all together a little bit and didn't give us the nice line. So I'd have to say at this point that the camera app to capture the ISS is probably not that good. Let's have a look at these other ones. So these next two here are definitely the shots of the night. These are with the app, Nightcap app. So you go into Nightcap app, hit the star button, hit ISS mode, push the shutter button, let it go for as long as you want it to, hit it again to stop it, and these are the sorts of photos you'll get. So first one here is when it was on the way up, and you can see lots of star trails there because this was open for about a minute, and that's how far it traveled 
in a minute. That nice, really bright line is the ISS. The second photo here, uh, one of them is a plane. In fact, there's two plane or one plane and probably three meteors in this photo. And that big bright line is the ISS coming back down. So that in the time that it took me to realize that this has gone out of the frame and then turn it around to get it on the way down, that's all I got. I didn't get it all the way through the sky. It was moving so bloody fast. If I took one phone, I probably would have got something a damn sight better. But anyway, that's that's life. Um, so I guess the lesson from this is don't overcomplicate things. Um, then don't be afraid to make a bit of fun of yourself when you do screw it up. I still had a good bit of time doing that. Friends in the house, I called them out and said, yeah, come out and see this thing. It's, it's amazing to see because it's moving so fast and nobody there had seen it before. So it was, even when you're taking photos like this and you've got friends around, absolutely point out, hey, that's the ISS moving through the sky. It'll do two things. They'll be amazed that you know this and you're gonna look like a bloody legend for knowing what's up in the sky. That's it for today, guys. I'll catch you later. See ya.